Yes, now we are ready to upgrade at PTBM uh, 131, 125, 133, PCMA 001S. Now we remove the ports Q10, the 2SC 1969, Pising ports RVQ, R47 and C57. And the R187, this is the track to the Q18 to the first RF amplifier. And here we have the removed parts Q10, REQ, R47, R187 and C57. And all these are the parts where we go back into the PTBM, the new MOSFET IRF520N, the EN369FN homemade part, Bising pot 500 kilo ohms, and here the R187 uh, with a new track to Q18. Uh, it's a circuit to break the RX circuit. And first, we install the RF520 on the heatsink just like the old 2SC 1969. And then we go to the companion part. We install the EN369 across the gate and the source of the ERF520 uh, in front of it on the part side. The plus to the gate and the minus to the source to the ground. And then we install the 500 kilo pot to the original place. To the place of the old RVQ where I removed before. And now it's especially uh, here. Now we install the new R187 with the insulated legs across the original soldering point of D58 to a free soldering point to the plus 8 volt by TX track may be here on a spare soldering point of R191 we can see here in the diagram here this is the Q18 and the D58 this circuit is not includes in all uh, cybernet radios and in all schematics here I think it's exactly for this transceiver where use the CW mode. It's for break-in operation here. We can see here on the other diagram, and you can see there is the the circuit is not included here, and it's the same circuit. Now Uh, we are setting the biasing voltage to 4.3 volts here, measured on the gate side of uh, the IRF520, direct on the leg of the FB3. It's uh, good for the best audio and power results here. And now we go here, look the parts. Yes. Here we have the MOSFET RF520 here. Here we have the companion part, the homemade. This is the new biasing pot, 500 kilo ohms. And here the R187, the new, goes from the original point here to a point, soldering point of r 19 war where are not here included on this PTPM. It's a spare part for an other model. Okay, now we look here on the voltmeter. Yes, we switch my TX here. Okay, 4.06 and here on the pot you can see with the trimmer here you can see the trimmer here. 
increase the voltage to 4.3 volts. Ok, I think it's enough here and now we are ready for TX. Now we are on FM here. It's about 6 watts here. And then we go to the USB mode. Hola, hola. Well, it's about 15 watts here. I think it's not bad. Thank you very much and good luck.